the BIR Form 1702EX, or the Annual Income Tax Return for Corporation, Partnership, and other non-individual taxpayer exempt under the tax code as amended under Section 30 and those exempted in Section 27, and other special laws with no other taxable income. Ngayong income tax filing season, kailangan bang mag-file ng income tax return ang mga tax-exempt corporation kagaya ng mga kooperatiba at non-stock non-profit organizations? At kung oo, paano ba ang pag-file ng income tax return ang mga corporations na kasama dito? At gusto nyo bang malaman kung paano sila ay nagiging exempted sa income tax at sa iba pang mga uri ng taxes? Paano nga ba ang proseso nito? Para malaman natin ang mga sagot, panoorin nyo po ang video presentation na ito. Sino-sino ang mga nag-file ng BIR Form 1702EX? This form is filed and submitted on behalf of a corporation, partnership, and other non-individual taxpayers exempt under the tax code as amended and other special laws with no other taxable income such as but not limited to foundations, cooperatives, charitable institutions, non-stop and non-profit educational institutions and general professional partnerships. Please take note that mere registration with the Securities and Exchange Commission as a non-stop non-profit corporation does not automatically entitle an entity to the tax exemption. It is a corporation's activities that determine the true nature of the organization and its taxability or exemption from taxes. Kaya naman, ang BIR ay nag-i-issue ng Certificate of Tax Exemption. Para sa mga taxpayers na qualified, gumamit ng form na ito sa halip na gumamit ng regular tax form. Certificate of Tax Exemption or CTE is issued to individuals or organizations who are exempt from tax. Exemption from taxation, as the name suggests, is when certain individuals, organizations, or institutions are free from taxes due to privileges granted by legislative grace. Dahil ang ating gobyerno ay inobliga tayo magbayad ng taxes, ang pagbibigay ng tax exemption ay nangangailangan ng masusing evaluation against the taxpayer. Saan pwede mag-apply ng Certificate of Tax Exemption? CTE is obtained from the RDO having jurisdiction over the residence of the taxpayer or where the taxpayer is registered. Except for non-stock non-profit educational institution, they shall file their application for tax exemption with the Office of the Assistant Commissioner, Legal Service Attention Law Division. Sino-sino ang pwedeng mag-apply ng tax exemption under the tax code? RMC number 64-2016, which provides parameters on which entities fall within the ambit of so-called Section 30 corporations, that is, exempt corporations. Section 30 corporations include labor, agriculture, or horticultural organizations not organized principally for profit, mutual savings bank not having capital stock represented by shares, and cooperative bank without capital stock organized and operated for mutual purposes and without profit. Beneficiary society orders or associations operating for the exclusive benefit of the members. Cemetery company owned and operated exclusively for the benefit of its members. Non-stock corporations or associations operated exclusively for religious, charitable, scientific, athletic or cultural purposes or for the rehabilitation of veterans. Business leagues, chambers of commerce, board of trade not organized for profit, civic leagues are those organized exclusively for the promotion of social welfare, non-stock and non-profit organizational institutions, government educational institutions. Farmers or mutual typhoon, or fire insurance companies, mutual ditch or irrigation companies, mutual or cooperative telephone companies, or like organizations of purely local character, as well as farmers, fruit growers associations, 
operated as a sales agent for the purpose of marketing the products of its members. The RMO shall apply to all tax-exempt corporations listed previously except for non-stock and non-profit educational institutions which are covered separately by RMC 44-2016. Paano malalaman kung isang corporation ay qualified sa income tax exemption? The BIR provided two determinative tests, organizational test and operational tests. The organizational test requires that the corporation's constitutive documents, that is, SEC registration, articles of incorporation, or bylaws, show that its primary purpose falls under Section 30 of the tax code. The operational test, on the other hand, requires that the regular activities of the corporation be exclusively devoted to the furtherance of such primary purpose. Further, the earnings of a Section 30 corporations that cheaply come from donations, grants, or contributions should not inure to the benefit of its trustees, organizers, officers, members, or any specific person. As such, the RMO listed certain payments to individuals that would not be considered as inurement prohibitions. Kapag na-qualify ang isang corporation at nabigyan ng tax exemption, pwede na siyang mag-file ng BIR Form 1702-EX. Paano at saan maaaring mag-file ng BIR Form 1702-EX? Ito ay fina-file gamit ang EBIR Forms Package na kailangan natin i-download at install upang ma-access natin ang 1702-EX Form na kailangan i-fill in at i-submit online. After successful submission, kailangan natin i-print ang Form 1702-EX, Tax Receipt Confirmation na mara-receive sa ating email, and other attachments such as Financial Statements in Triplicate. Kapag nakumpleto na natin ang ating documents, maaari na natin itong ipareceive sa Revenue District Office or RCO Office kung saan located ang inyong main business. Kailan dapat i-file ang BIR Form 1702-EX? The form shall be filed on or before April 15 after the end of the taxable year for calendar accounting period and every 15th day of the 4th month after the end of the taxable year for fiscal accounting period. Pay income tax now! Pagbabayan ng WIS, tatap ng kabayanihan. Para sa Pilipino ang WIS natin! Please like and share our Facebook page and subscribe to our YouTube channel, BIR Revenue District Office 014 Bayombong. Salamat po!